Hi, I'm here to tell you a little bit about this wonderful conference that we have scheduled for November in Providence, Rhode Island. You can learn more about it at the Lyme disease website, Columbia University, columbia-lyme.org website. But basically, this is uh, each year we have a conference, and each year I get worried we're not going to be able to have as good a conference as the previous one. This one in November is going to be fantastic. If you want to learn about the latest research in Lyme disease and how the latest research is helping to bridge that huge chasm that exists between the patient experience and the academia, well, this is the one to come to. We're going to present uh, the, some of the leading people in the country doing this research, as well as from Europe, will be uh, coming to talk about their work uh, and their results. I can't talk about everybody who's going to be coming to the conference, so, so I'm just going to touch upon, upon a few topics. One has to do with per persister Borrelia. So Dr. Kim Lewis and Dr. Ying Zhang will be talking about their separate work, trying to figure out what uh, antimicrobials are most effective and what approaches are most effective uh, so that we can actually eradicate this spirochete. Uh, Dr. Ed Brightsworth uh, is going to talk about his tremendously important work on Bartonella and the different Bartonella species and how we can eradicate them. Dr. Richard Marconi, the co-chair of our conference, is going to present an enormously important public health issue, which is his work developing a new vaccine, which has been tested now in dogs. and. Uh, and it actually can be modified, so it's effective not only against Borrelia Lyme disease, but also against other co-infections. We're going to have talks about immune markers. We're, I'm going to present a talk on uh, an update on pandas, pans, and uh, antineuronal antibodies, uh, camp kinase activity using the Cunningham panel among patients, 200 patients with a history of Lyme disease. Towards the end of the conference, you're going to hear a very interesting count, point counterpoint format uh, discussion about that controversial topic of sexual transmission of Borrelia. Uh, what's the evidence for it? What's the evidence against it? Um, Dr. Ray Stricker, Dr. Sam Danta will be talking about th that. There's so much interesting stuff at this conference. All I can say is look at the agenda and uh, please join us. I look forward to seeing you in November. Thanks. Hello, this is Kim Lewis, professor of biology at Northeastern University and I will tell you about our findings with uh, Borrelia burgdorferi. Uh, so what we find is that uh, Borrelia forms persisters, uh, dormant variants of regular cells that are very difficult to eradicate. Uh, these persisters, however, can be eradicated as we find with pulse dosing application of antibiotics and with treatment with uh, mitomycin C. Thank you. Everyone, my name is Ed Brightsward. I'm a professor of medicine and infectious disease at North Carolina State University and an adjunct professor of medicine at Duke University Medical Center. I will be presenting a lecture entitled Bartonellosis, a One Health Approach to an Emerging Infectious Disease. And the content of this lecture will relate to a relatively new genus of bacteria that is causing disease in animals and humans. We'll emphasize the numerous vectors that are capable of transmitting Bartonella, the risk to veterinary workers and others with animal exposure, and the complex pathophysiology and symptoms that are observed in human patients. I hope that each of you will consider joining us.